All right. Hmm. My hand's looking a little sus. A little sus. Hmm. This looks like a pretty normal Tron hand. Hmm. My Giganta? Why not? Giganta's free, right? What Intarnation is this? The best deck in, in existence. RCQ win was with Prof. The Prof's deck that we spent a lot of time on Monday and Tuesday with. For those of you looking to, uh, you know, discuss the RCQ, we'll be doing an RCQ recap after round one of Modern, so stay tuned for that. This is the exact situation that I thought was would come up, you know? Eh, you don't need those cards. What'd they reveal? Gigantha, the Wellspring. Alright. I tap my Urza's Mine and my Urza's Tower, and I cast Sylvan Scrying. Is that good? If so, why? Somebody explain to me why that's good. Yeah, that is true. Can, you can actually cast this member for mana. Two mana, five, three. Do we Worm Coil? Or do we Karn Bridge? Both bad against Binding. I think I'd rather Karn Ring, which means I should Worm Coil this turn. That's where I'm at, too. Warm Coil Engine is all colors. Should have put a sign on a board to wish for. I thought about that, but, like, I don't know. I think it's more important to have more of them in your deck to draw towards to have on turn two than, like, turn three, you know? Now, recap after run one. It's a good point. I can Karn Might. I kind of wanted to get Ring, though. Hmm... I think it doesn't matter because they probably have stub, but I'll cast Karn. Okay, then I have stub. Now we actually get to think about what we want to do. Mm. We can't spin. Actually, can I spin next turn? Well, the problem with Golos is they can just attack Karn and Tribal Flames it. Like... I want to get either Haywire Might or One Ring, because both of those are good against Tribal Flames. Right. If I get Golos, I'm not going to block. They're killing Karn. They Tribal Flames my Golos. I have nothing left. So I have to get either Might or Ring this turn. It's close. 15. I think it's probably better to get Might this turn. And then I guess they're killing Karn, but they can't Tribal Flames the Worm Coil Engine, which is good. Oh, wait. I could just get the fucking... Coil engine, I guess. But it is better to get the mites. The same thing, but I gain two life. Uh no reason to do it now, right? Uh, no reason to do it now. Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point too. Ring guarantees that Karn is dead. They got over there. Another binding. Is their hand just binding plus burn spell? If they're attacking me, it has to be, right? I mean. I'm activating my card. That's all I can do. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. So, we got a 12 loose card. Shocker. It's almost like I knew that was in their hand. Honestly, our best draw is Scion. Because <laughs> we can just chain Scions. Scion would be so good here. Ooh. Mm. Let's do it off of this so we have more mana. Sure. Two. I play Scion. I sacrifice Sanctum. Uh, do we just get... Oh, I just get Leveler, right? Yeah. Six, eight, leveler. Pop this. Alright, uh, good luck. Your turn. <laughs> now the game is actually over. 
Good game. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Is this uh, updated state of modern? I think it seems like it. I think Spike would like this. <coughs> hmm. All right, pick your poison in. What do we cut? Just like some chromatics, maybe? What just happened? They're just normal Tron things. Don't worry about it. This is the future of Tron, folks, all right? This is what Tron looks like in 2024. You know, the one thing that I realized about playing the Leyline Scion package is how absurd Scion of Draco is with Sanctum. Because if you open Leyline plus Scion and Sanctum, you just have two Scions. You know, please tell me you did this. I got the, uh, so I had the idea for it a while ago. Um, Distinction ended up sending me a deck list, but like I've had this idea in my head for the past, like well, ever since Leyline was spoiled, I had to have had this idea. Uh, mm -hmm. Pure Modern 5 is on April 7th. Sunday, April 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern. Exclamation point pure for more information. All right, let's cut these. Let's bring in these. Do I cut maybe one of the Ulamogs? Try that. Why not four spear two stars? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess there's like... I'm trying to think if, the, if there's reasons to play do it the other way. Probably not, right? Yeah. That's a good point, because Sphere is better against Bowmasters. Yeah, I'm going to book my flight, like, this weekend. I did win the RCQ, yet. Yeah. You are in the presence of an RCQ winner. You love to see it. Is this deck just broken? Like, unironically, did we break it? <laughs> did, did we actually break it? Surely we didn't, right? I played Demir Profs. We're gonna be doing a we're gonna be doing an RCQ recap after this. So if you're if you wanna hear more about the RCQ, stay tuned after this round. I'm gonna be doing a, a YouTube video for it. What do you fetch with Sanctum? More scions. You just want as many scions as possible. Non-creature, huh? Oh, not non-creature, huh? I think I think I have a, a specific non-creature in mind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh man. Cool. Your turn. Turn two. I sacrifice my land to put a sign into play. Yeah, this is like chaining elder deep fiends, but more broken. Find God? Oh, oh, trust me, I have found God. I have, in fact, found God. There is a God. His name is Scion of Draco. Basically, yeah. I mean, if they draw Pick Your Poison this turn, maybe. But if they don't draw Pick Your Poison this turn, they can't win. Oh, no! <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Uh, okay, I guess we'll make Tron. I guess I will make Tron. <laughs> I will get Urza's Mine. I will play Ancient Stirrings. Are you going to stub me? No, they would have stubbed the scrying, right? <clears throat> Uh, I will grab Karn, the great content creator. Opponent typed in chat, they said, I need to get better at drawing Leyline, GG's. Yeah, I agree, you know. Skill issue, honestly. Pure skill issue. What incarnation is this? The best deck in the entire format, not close. Okay, this is a better updated State of Modern. Because, you know, it's like... This is the perfect, th this, this screenshot is just everything that modern is all about, you know? Like, opponent showed up with their sideboard card and had their own scion, and it was not even remotely close to good enough. Like, that's, it's peak. 
It's peak. Uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Sus. Well, I guess I know which one I'm putting back. Kind of sus. Pretend, pretend you didn't see that, okay? Carp losing forest. You have a scales gamer. I didn't know that he could do math. I didn't know your game was like that. The cam moto does it for him. Yeah, I guess. Oh man, it's really nice to get the. Uh, you know what's what's really nice about playing winning the RCQ is now I can actually stream on the weekend. You know, I feel like I haven't been able to stream on a weekend in the past month and a half. So I play map. What did I win with? The Demir Profs deck. It's on the Mox field. <clears throat> oh, is that card good against scales? Is this card good against scales? If so, why? It's not the best against patchwork, though. Oh, but we do have stone. The, if you miss the recap, Baker, it'll be on YouTube. You can probably check the VOD, too. But I'll put it up on YouTube tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't know. I mean, what's nice about Coffers is you get to play a bunch of Shieldred's Edicts, and that card is very good against Scion, line, Scion Leyline. Okay, that's what I didn't want to see. We do have a bridge in the board, but bridge is not very good here, I think. Best mm -mm -mm. on the deck. Okay, now what? Um, don't worry about that. All right, just pretend this. Just pretend this isn't here. Just, just pretend it's not there. Okay, just don't, just don't look at it. Pretend it's not there. It's an, it's an optical illusion. Okay. What the hell do I do here? Yeah, it's a hand hider. Uh, I'm just trying to tap 12 mana for a Draco, you know. It is a Tron payoff, you know. Turn 5 Tron payoff. So if I get bridge, they can't sack to the... They can't sack anything to the Ravager and load up on Nexus because Karn has an ability. So, uh, but that doesn't really answer the Nexus long term, right? What if I needle Nexus with the intention of O-stoning next turn? That might actually be the best play. Yeah. I actually think it I actually think it is correct to needle Nexus. Because here's the issue, right? If I go Karn Bridge, all they have to do is attack Karn, set up for lethal with Nexus the next turn, right? Oh, but the O Stone's gonna kill the needle, right? Shit. Is it ever Karn Uptick? That seems insane, right? <clears throat> There's like nothing I can do. Map for a Beseju. With what green mana? You got any, you got any green mana? I don't I don't have any green mana. I don't see anything. Magic is too hard. Why is magic so hard? Well, the blocker's kind of whatever, right? Because they just have Nexus. Why is this so hard? Okay, let's let's go through options. Bridge, they go kill Karn, next turn, a bunch of stuff, sack on the Nexus. So that's bad. Needle, Nexus, kill Karn, I O Stone, pop the needle, then they just have a Nexus, right? Well, actually, is it that bad though? Like the needle line doesn't sound that bad because if I go for O Stone, they can't load up on the Nexus in response to me popping the O Stone. So yes, I'm losing the needle, but they lose the Ravager and the ability to put counters on the Nexus. So I I really still think needle is the best line. And then even though the needle dies to the O Stone next turn, it's not that big of a deal. They have a one one Nexus and a Carp losing Forest and nothing else. I think I I'm gonna go with that line. I, I think I like that line. I think that is the best line I have available to me. What do they get off Urza? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to get off Urza. 
I'm going to go for this line, though. I think this is the safest line. Uh, go. <clears throat> They'll jar one thing. That's true. I guess they can get jar. Oh, no, they can't activate. Oh, they can't activate jar because they're going to kill Karn this turn. Sure. That was a tough turn. I don't know if that was right. Maybe there was something better. Yeah, you don't really need to needle Ravager. <laughs> what if I needled Welding Jar? <laughs> that I think that's too insane, right? Needle Welding Jar? That seems bad. Then they just don't get Jar, right? What if they got... Oh, actually, what if they got the Ozolith? The one min Ozolith? Well, then it just dies to O-Stone, right? I did, yeah. I won the FNM RCQ. I got home at 3 in the morning last night. <laughs> it was a long tournament, but it was worth it. It was worth it. They got... Bzz. Bzz. Sure. Okay. That's not, like, super concerning. You know, that is, uh, that is a card that is in our deck. That is a card that is in our deck. <clears throat> All right, I think my plan is to play O-Stone and take a hit. This is four, five, six, seven, eight damage. I'm going to take a hit because I want to go end step, put in a fake counter on Needle. So let's play the O-Stone. Play Tower Pass. I'm going to take one hit, though. Yeah. No, I, I don't die. They can't They can't animate Nexus right now. And because they can't animate Nexus, they can't really go for a big Ravager hit because I just have the O-Stone up. Like, I guess they can maybe force it if they can find a lethal... If they can find a lethal line. But they currently cannot animate Nexus. So. So I think taking one turn to just, like, take a bunch of damage and then pop O-Stone next turn is good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is, like, the safest line because... It's kind of what I want to do, where I want to protect a Needle and then pop the O-Stone, but it also leaves up my option to just kill their board if they go for a lethal attack. But, like, I don't care about taking 8 damage. 8's, like, whatever. Yeah, I'm going to map for Cataracts. I am going to map for Cataracts. I'm not going to cast the Leyline and the Scion next turn, but I will map for Cataracts. So, like, next turn we're going to pop O-Stone, turn after Leyline, double Scion... So, help try to stabilize that way. Uh, pop map. Does this deck even have a way to cast Leyline? I'm glad that you asked. Yes, it does. <gasps> no, I misclicked. Uh, shit, I misclicked. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Kind of never punish, though. Kind of never punished. Okay, if I cataracts, so use the so use these two cataracts. Make five mana. Use four of it for ley line. One mana floating. Two, three, four, five, six. I can go scion and Karn. That's pretty good, right? And just Karn uptick. I think. Yeah, I like that. Light blue, red, black, green. Did I click the wrong artifacts? What do you mean? All green works. Yeah, I mean, sure, it's fine. It's kind of the same thing, right? Yes, I misclicked. <laughs> I meant to put a counter on Needle, but I clicked the second ability of Ostone, not the first one. That was my bad. I think we'll be fine, though. I mean, I guess they still have four cards in hand. Depending on how big they can make it the, con the Construct token this turn. Yeah, but I, I did not intend to pop the O-Stone last turn. I meant to put a fake counter on Needle. Just misclicked. Fat Leonard says, As a burn player, thank you for doing your part in getting the shit banned. You know, I do what I can, Fat Leonard. O-7's in the chat. I'm, do I'm doing my part. You know, I'm doing my best. I'm trying. Third copy of Saga. 
technically the first copy of Saga. Okay, no attacks. Um, now what? Oh my god, chat. I have the most five headline of all time. Oh my god. You are going to love this line. You ready for this? Chat, your brain is not ready for this. All right? <laughs> your brain is not ready for this. <laughs> Look at this line. The plays. The plays. The plays. <laughs> Golos is sad. We can just Golos next turn. It's fine. I don't even know why I'm popping now, but it's fine. That is what we call a line. That is a line, folks. Mm. If it was up to me... Some would say one of the lines of all time. Nice artifact. My line! Um, what card do I want to get this turn? I guess we can just Golos, right? Golos is more fun. Do I have enough to spin? I should, right? I think I have exactly enough. So we go three, five. Yeah, we have exactly enough. White, blue, black, red, green. Golos. Sure, why not, I guess. Sure. I'll take a sign of Draco and a Cityscape leveler. Thanks for asking. Why not? I don't mind. I mean, what do you want from me, you know? <clears throat> Is this deck busted? Don't answer that question. I don't I don't I don't want you to answer that question. That was rhetorical. Currently in hell. I'm also in hell. This deck is we, we called it malpractice earlier. When you drew Leyland, I thought you had fumbled much more than you did. No, that's that's why I'm playing the cataracts. Like it just kind of all works together, you know? The cataracts was I, I hadn't I didn't have the cataracts in the initial build, but the cataracts kind of ties the room together. In this weird way. Mm -mm. What do we cover? Pick your poisons. Do I even do I want pick your poison against them? I assume so, right? Just it always kills either Saga or Scales. Yes, yeah. Sundering Titan is more of a last a last ditch effort if they remove your lane line. That's more of what Titan's there for. Just got to my favorite cigar bar, kid with mom, so I've got the afternoon to watch this and bass. Bro, I'm put I I I have ley line and sign in my deck. I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to troll people, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. If they have ley line too, then it's fine. I think I'm gonna cut these spheres. That's what I've been doing a lot. You don't really need sphere as much when ley line fixes your mana for you. And this is this is what I did last time, and I think it's fine. You don't need both of the mogs. The coolest part about this deck, honestly, is that the the Scion chain with Leyline. Like if your if your opening hand has Leyline Scion plus Sanctum, you just have two. You just have two Scions, which is kind of sick. Uh, this hand is like surprisingly close. I'm gonna ship it, but it's it's closer than you might think it is. Uh, okay. So keep put back scrying. Is it Scrying or Cataracts? Maybe it's Cataracts, actually. It's close. Like, I, I don't need... It kind of depends on how I want to sequence this. I can go Star into Scrying Tron, or I can just go Map into Tron. So, maybe I put back the map? But that's worse if he has Needle. No, no, it doesn't matter, right? Because he can't Needle Star. Yeah, maybe this is just put back Map, right? Stave Star for Pick Your Poison. That's kind of what I was thinking, right? The other line is put back Cataracts and go turn one map, turn two, tr turn two sack, turn three Tron, star, pick your poison. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's just put back Cataracts. I think that makes sense. And then I could use the map for Tron and save the star for Pick Your Poison. That's a lot better. Bzz. 
Mm, does that change things? Not really, right? No, not really. In a place you don't know. I can't believe I find this entertaining. Well, that's what I'm here for, you know? And if you're enjoying the content, folks, don't forget the best way to support the stream is with that free Prime sub. Any Primers in the chat? Oh, okay, sure, I guess. Well, that's actually insane, because now I can just make him Sack Saga. <laughs> See you. <clears throat> Are you playing a single Yath of to grab to cast Landline? Ooh, no, I'm playing a Cascading Cataracts instead, but maybe Yath is better than Cataracts. I mean, I, th I still think you want the Cataracts Golos angle, but it's possible we should maybe also have a Yavamaya. I didn't think about that. That's one I had not considered. We may have to map for a forest here. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> Never mind. I, do I no longer have to map for a forest. Uh, just play Stirrings. We could just take the power plant and not use map. Is that better? Uh, we're probably going to get ring next turn, maybe? I don't know. Let's take power plant. And just maybe not pop the map. Depending on what they do. Yeah, we might have to map for forest. Uh, nope. No longer have to map for forest. We'll, we'll be okay. The cigar makes your brain juices flow. Yeah, the Alpha Maya is a good suggestion. I didn't think about that. Is it ever Karn uptick? No, probably not. What are we getting next turn? That's the question. Uh, what are we getting? We're going to have 8 mana. The shitty thing about Ring is he just gets Needle off Saga, right? Grab a No Stone. I don't have a No Stone in the sideboard. <laughs> that might be a mistake, though. If I had a No Stone, I probably would have grabbed it. I could just get Besaju off the map. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, let's do that. I think using my mana here is good. I do like getting Besaju here. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but... <laughs> okay, well... You know. That's how it is. That's that's how it is, sometimes. Uh, I get... I guess if I get Ring and he gets Needle, I can just besage the Needle and keep going with Ring. Yeah, it's got to be Ring, right? It, it has to be Ring. Oops. It's got to be Ring. <clears throat> And he knows about the Pesajou, too. Alright, I ring. I cast El Juan Ring. El Juan Ring. Make it Haywire, I might. Yeah, that's a good point. Could just get Might. That's actually kind of nice. That's more, maybe more gas next turn. I can find Ulamog. We have 10 mana. Even just the Stone's pretty good here. How's that tweet doing? Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, that's a good point. If they if they have an answer to ring, they'd rather just get Haywire Might than Needle here. Almost certainly. They actually they actually had three sockets this game. How many opponents did I bribe? Uh, zero. Believe it or not. The funny, the funniest thing too was we were so we had played, we had finished top eight, and we were all waiting for top four to start. And one person was we we had all we were all like, yeah, just we all want the invite. I'm assuming. And one person was like, no, I don't want the invite. <laughs> and then the pairings go up, and obviously I didn't play against that person, but the other person just got to buy into the finals. I was like, man, must be nice. Oh, okay. I see. I'm with you. They just drew the Haywire Might. Okay. Cool. Well, this is less than ideal. 
We still can besage the needle and turn on O-Stone. No, there's 19 people in the event. Choosing... Why did... Oh, yeah, because we have protection, right. Even I forget. Not activating Haywire might immediately? Uh... What? What? Pete, you just gave me a card. Plus one card. Okay. Uh, well... I'm at 16... Three, five, seven. So it is awkward where if I stirrings, I can't also besage you into O Stone. It's got three cards in hand. I mean, we still stirrings here, right? I don't know. What do you want from me? I just, I, I don't know what you want from me. I really, really don't know what you want from me. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I just, I, I just don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Yeah, we should stirrings here, right? <laughs> Why am I winning with this deck? I, this feels wrong. This feels wrong. I don't want to be winning with this deck. I don't want to be winning with this deck. Don't concede. 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 Alright, there we go. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Just like the world's most relevant Karn ever. <laughs> Cast Karn. Search for <laughs> search for Stone Brain. I typed rookie mistake. Alright, cool. <laughs> They don't want to play anymore. Oh, man. Man, magic is great, huh? Chad, is magic great? Okay, well, this is just a normal opening hand, so... <laughs> Never mind, I guess. This is just a normal hand. Alright, it's not that cursed. Oh, fuck, we're dead. This matchup seems unwinnable. Cataracts, though? True, I guess the cataracts is a little sussy. Team Trios, uh, Pioneer, Rectos, Vampires, Modern, I don't know, Standard, Play Blue, Black Profs. The Cataracts was a tower. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could draw a tower, but even then we're still kind of fucked. Isn't this fun? I love getting griefed. Why did I keep four land Sylvan Scrying? I mean, you, you are not allowed to mulligan a hand that has Tron. Like, I had Tron and Payoff. Why would I mulligan a hand that has Tron and Payoff? You know what I mean? What? Do people unironically think the Sam was a mulligan? I'm confused. <clears throat> Honestly, probably Rhino Snack Bar. I mean, you know my opinion, right? There is zero possible chance this hand is ever a mulligan. I think if, if you think this hand is a mulligan, I think you just should stop playing Tron. Like, I'm just, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm being completely honest. <laughs> Tron plus payoff. I don't, I just, like, what what more do you want? I, what are you looking, I guess my question is, what are you looking to mulligan to? You know, how do you do better than Tron plus payoff? I don't, I don't know, you know? Oh, Mulligan the... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Mm. What does that even get? I guess I want to thin my deck. We already have the Cataracts. Another tower in case I draw Ugin. Or not Ugin, Ulamog. Sure. It's not like they're a Besager deck. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I don't think Saga's very good in Tron. Maybe one could be okay. I don't know. You could maybe sell me in the first the first copy of Saga. Tainting Indulgence. Scarlet Traxa, Monka W. Book. 
uh, go. You may proceed. Should I be besaging them? I don't think so, right? Yeah. They do play binding, so. I feel like saving Besaju is good. <clears throat> Believe it or not, we can still win this game. Like, if we, if we draw Ulamog, they're dead. Well, not necessarily, because we're taking 10 this turn, going to 4. We draw Ulamog. I guess I would kill Land Grief at that point, maybe. Oh, fuck Gigantha to hand. I forgot about that. I always forget about Gigantha in this deck. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry, Gigantha. Forgive me, please. Don't get too bad at me, Jeff. Jeff hates me. Yeah, I don't care what you put in your hand. I do not care. I guess O-Stone is the card we have to draw. Yeah, played around grief by having no spells. I don't play Ugin. My only big payoffs are two Ulamog, one Worm Coil, and one Cityscape. There's no Ugin. We've decided to cut those for uh, for uh, cards. I will not. I will not tell you what those cards are. I guess you're gonna find out during sideboarding. But all right, the joke's over. The joke is over. See, or, see, here's the thing, though. We're just playing Scion as another Tron payoff, you know? Just get the 12 mana, honestly, cast Scion, you know? I mean, it's, it does cost 12 colorless mana. It is it is technically a Tron payoff. 10. Well, if I have a forest, you know. um, I probably want Pick Your Poisons, right? Because they have Atraxa and Binding. But this is what I've been doing a lot, just cutting two spheres. And I don't know. Do I want to cut the Ulamog against them? Maybe. Make one other cut. Can I ever cut the second forest? It's not like they're besaging me. Ring? Ring seems really good. I don't I don't think I want to cut payoffs. Because, like, we actually have a lighter amount of payoffs than normal Tron decks. I, I don't really count this as a payoff. I guess this counts as a payoff. So it's like 14. I'm going to cut a forest. I think it's fine. I don't think the eight extra spells that don't work with the rest of the deck are good against grief. I mean, you're probably not wrong, but I also don't have eight cards to bring in, so I can't. I physically cannot cut those cards from my deck, even though I don't necessarily disagree with you. God, this hand is beautiful. It's 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 peak. I mean, I could go to five, but I could also just keep. What if we just kept, you know? What if we just kept? It's fine. <clears throat> what if we just kept? All right, your turn. Although if they have grief, it's like we can't possibly win if they have grief. Most of our hands can't be grief anyways. Okay, they don't have grief. All right, we have died. We have officially died. We tried. We tried our best. <laughs> All right, go. Your turn. Just, just you wait till I draw that land. Just you wait till I draw that land. Oh, discard attracts a Gristlebrand, huh? I wonder what my opponent will be casting this turn. Could be literally anything. If we make it over the mountains. Could be literally anything. We were 2 0. We're no longer going to be undefeated. Mm, also, probably can't beat that. Land. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I would sacrifice Sanctum here. Something tells me I probably can't afford to do that, so I will, I will choose to not do that. No. I would have loved to have been able to sacrifice that. 
that's kind of the joke, right? Is you like if you open on these three cards, you just chain scions. So like your early game is either make Tron or have these three cards. And if you have these three cards, it's really fucking good. Really? Okay, their hand sucks. We could still win this game. They're gonna take scrying. They should take scrying. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like I'm I'm not gonna tell you that this is correct to do, but it, it gives the deck in like this weird, interesting plan B. You know? Like this is this is a good plan B. A lot of decks have a hard time beating these two cards on the battlefield. Uh, do I cast that or hold it for Atraxa? If they, I, here's my thing, right? If they put Atraxa onto the battlefield, I've probably already lost. So I think I should just fire it off now so that I can pop the map next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Another Scion would be kind of nice. If we find another Scion, then we can, um, we can double block Atraxa if they ever attack with it. <coughs> So it means they can't ever attack with the Traxa. Is Leyline the best card in every deck now? Oh yeah. It's basically Astrolabe that's just that doesn't replace itself. That's the way that the way that I look at it. Tweeted a funny profs related picture to me. How funny is it? I'll be the judge of that. See what happens when you win an RCQ. Why is this song on the playlist? See what happens when you win an RCQ. Bro, it's already a dollar and thirty cents. Oh, those are the foil ones, okay. Pog. Can't even rent the card to play bad decks. <laughs> you love to see it. Uh no blocks. What's our best draw here? Just honestly just another scion. <clears throat> I mean, okay. Okay, we're cooking a little bit. We're doing a bit of cooking. We're doing a bit of cooking. We still hope they never find a, uh, a Gorios. If they somehow just never draw Gorios, then we're okay. They're also at nine, so just saying. Fuck. All right, we have died. Oh sevens. We tried. <clears throat> we did our best. Well, they reveal. They revealed grief, ephemerate, unmoored. Okay, yeah, you win. Okay, I quit. I don't want to sit here while you take five minutes to figure out the best way to kill me. So I will concede the game. Now, my hand looks really good. I will keep. This is peak. It's peak, folks. It's peak. Scientists were too busy figuring out if they could that they did not think about whether or not they should. <laughs> oh, look at this. Another satisfied customer. All I have is a, a response from MTG Rob with a DreamHack Magic paper and says deck is cracked. Another satisfied customer, folks. Chat, if you have an RCQ tomorrow and you are not playing Demir Profs, I don't know what to tell you. I've given you all the information I've given you all the information that you could possibly ever need or want. You know? <clears throat> you don't have the cards? Well, that's your fault. That's not my fault. I'm doing I'm doing my part, okay? I'm I'm giving you the broken deck. I'm telling you to play the broken deck. If you, you do with that information whatever you want to do. I can't wait to see uh <laughs> I can't wait to see how many people post today that they won with the Tabir Prof deck. Just actually the best deck in standard, but we didn't find it until the last possible week of RCQs. Oh, man, that's funny. That is hilarious that we, we didn't find the broken deck until the last, the last, literal last actual possible week. But we found the broken deck, and that's all that matters, you know. Just took me a little longer. It's the deck list. It is on the Mox Field. Exclamation point Mox Field. If you would like a direct link, uh, I will give you the direct link. There it is. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, next season is Pioneer. <clears throat> well, to be fair, I made them wait a little bit, so, you know. I was playing my cube match. I was too busy hogacking my opponent.
All right, we have a game. I would reveal, uh, I have starting hand effects. Free game effects, some would call it. <laughs> Tron mirror match. How good is Cyan in the Tron mirror? Oh, it's scales again. It beat scales earlier. Okay, we know they have a jar. Uh, I guess I'll pop star just for stirrings. Okay, your turn. So here's the awkward part. <laughs> there is one uh, one kind of awkward part about this deck, and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. This is the weird part. But, you know, I mean, you kind of live with it. It's okay. Sometimes it comes up, sometimes it doesn't. It's fine. You know, it's just it's just something you live with. Uh, Sure. I would like a forest, please. I will deploy a map in a tower. It is your turn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it could be all his dust. <clears throat> Udiz's Saga. You don't have a third Besage, do you? No. Okay, you have a jar. You have a jar. I have a PP. I deploy PP. Now what? Is it ever just Karn uptick on Jar? Could be. It certainly could be. Chalice on one. The problem with Chalice on one is they just get to kill Karn for free, right? I guess it doesn't matter because I have a second Karn. Ring is not bad either. No, I know that, but the reason I want a plus Karn is so they can't kill it with Patchwork next turn. That's the idea, you know. Because if I if I minus card, they're hundred percent killing it. Grab the might. Ooh, chump block pop saga. Make them make token, and then untap O stone. I feel like that's maybe worse than just uptick kill jar. Like it kind of accomplishes the same thing. In terms of setting me up for O stone, because I can still keep the card in play. I guess like worst case, they play two artifacts. Put the Karn to two, but then I just minus Karn, get whatever, play stone, pop, they lose the jar. I think I'm going to go Karn uptick. I'm going to uptick on the jar, I think. And I'm even just going to deploy it. I'm going to deploy the O-Stone. It like, kind of sucks telling them that I have the O-Stone, but it's fine. Like, What are they going to do about it? They already probably assumed that I had it. Soulstone is kind of awkward, though. <laughs> I mean, I guess the Ley Line's not doing much here, right? At this current juncture, the ley line's kind of just the emotional support ley line. It's not doing all that much. Cauldron, that don't do shit. Okay. So they're just going to let me stone them? With two cards in hand? Uh, well, how much mana do I have? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can go minus Karn for Ring. Pop Stone, play new Karn, uptick. And they have two cards. They can make one Construct token, get a Needle. That doesn't really matter, though. That's fine. Get Ring. Pop this. And I'm popping this main phase so I can play the other Karn, I think. Or, what if I just played Ring? Actually, yeah, what if I just played Ring? So I guess it was kind of pointless to pop the, the Karn then, or to pop the stone. Yeah, I should have waited on popping the stone. I was going to play Karn, but I don't really need to. They can't kill me this turn. So I should have waited to pop the stone, I think. I don't think it matters that much. Like, they're, I, I think they're locked out at this point. Right, yeah, that's kind of nice. Like, getting the ring here kind of forces them to needle the ring, and we just have another Karn for Haywire Might. What'd they name? They named Karn. Uh, what? Okay. 
well. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. This deck, this deck should not be winning games. I'm, I'm very upset that this deck is winning games. It's making me kind of upset. <clears throat> Chat, if you were upset that this deck is winning games, now is a good time to prime sub. I don't know why those are correlated, but you know, also primes. Any primers? Yeah, that's true. I'm mostly just trotting people. I'm not really doing the scion line stuff that much, or as much as I expected to. But it has come up a couple of times. And like what's what's more what's come up more than Leyline Scion is just the ability to go open Leyline, play Tron Land stirrings. Like that's come up more than once. And that line is kinda sick. The fact that your Tron lands cast your stirrings and scryings. That's probably the most relevant part about uh Leyline. Uh, I gotta keep this, I think. Back Scion. Yeah, Yavamaya is kind of cool, because Yavamaya, similar to Cataracts, can also help you hardcast Leyline. <clears throat> Ancient Stirrings. Whoa, what did we draw? Right, exactly, yeah. Your your mulligan decisions are much easier. It is a good point. It's a good target for Baker Poison. Can we even cast the guild pack? Yeah, we have cataracts. Cataracts can make five of any color. So you can cat and I did that. I think I've done that twice so far. Like it's come up more than once. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> One mana stone rain, by the way. Okay. Deeps. Deep, deep, deep. Don't needle me, bro. Oh, okay. A fellow pick your poison enjoyer. I'm with you. Touche. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nope. I made the wrong color. I'm getting get punished. <laughs> I, like, clicked really fast. That was obviously wrong. Did not mean to do that. Thankfully, I did not get punished. That would have been bad. I think you can undo Chromatic Sphere, which is kind of weird. Because you, like, already draw the card off of it. Walking Barista. All right, we need a mine. Any mines? I don't know about that one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Working barista. Bzz. Bzz. What'd they do? They named Karn and killed my ring. That's kind of rude. I have protection, but beg a phone. Mine. I mean, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know what you want from me. I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I just, I just don't know what you want me to tell you. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> what do you want from me, you know? I keep, it was in my cube deck. We just threw out a cube draft with Hogak. Urktad. Schmurktad. Uh, this one. I really hope they force this. Imagine. DRC. Dirk Nowitzki. Unless we're just getting second tower. Wonder if they have main deck blood moon. These decks sometimes do. 
Shut up, you Sams. I hate you. No, I don't hate you. I kind of do, though. Tidebinder? I, I wanted them to play Tidebinder. That's why I didn't main phase the map. Okay, which threat do we lead with? They know about this one. And it's also the most mana efficient. But it's also the hardest for them to beat, right? So maybe I should not lead with that one. Yeah, I guess the double spell one. So we bait with O-Stone, maybe. And if they don't counter it, just pass. There we go. They, they're, they have no pressure, so I don't have to do anything. I can just fucking chill. Thanks, Max. Okay, well, now they can find pressure. No delirium. Now they have delirium. I know. I know. Hmm. 15 life, huh? I may have to trade O-Stone for a channeler. 6, 9, 13. I can double spell next turn, right? Yeah, let's just go Tower Pass. Pop Stone in combat. Try to get them to tap Mana to play another threat. And then we can double spell with both of these next turn. And if they don't play a creature, then I can just sit here and do nothing. Okay. Okay, this works out kind of perfect for me. Because I can lead Worm Coil, get that one countered, then go Karn Bridge. Right? I have, enough, I have exactly enough mana. Unless they have Spell Pierce. They, we, we lose the Spell Pierce this way, but if they have Counter Spell Spell Pierce, then, you know, so be it. So be it. All right, your turn. Don't kill me. Even if they bolt the Karn, it's not that bad because we have a backup Karn. The next season of RCQs qualifies for the SCG event, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Check and correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is that is accurate. But not this season because Dallas is not SCG. Dallas is, I believe, the last one that's not SCG. I guess they could have their one Odawara. Maybe they have the Odawara. They're thinking about like whether they should use it now to kill the Karn. I feel like if they have the Odawara, they should probably wait. Just get more stuff in play and try to one-shot me. What's funny is the people who are just joining the stream think this is just a normal Tron deck, but they they are unaware. They ha They lack critical information about what's going on here. I mean, obviously, you can look at the Mox field and take a, take a peek at the deck list, but if you don't know, then you don't know. <clears throat> it's normal Tron, guys. Don't worry. It's fine. Completely normal Tron. Nothing to see here. I'm assuming you have multiple copies of Golos. There is a Golos in my sideboard. There's also another reason that I'm playing Cascading Cataracts. It's just Golos, I promise. I had to meme, you know. I wanted to stream today. I had an idea for somewhat good content. Ooh, okay, they have the Petty Theft. So I guess they were debating on attacking me or Karn. Welcome to the family. No. No. Definitely not. Fourth Tower, huh? Fourth Tower has been called. 16 mana. They have two cards in hand. So they have to counter the bridge. What's my plan after they counter bridge? What are we carning for? Leveler? We have enough. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16. 16 minus 3 is 13. Minus 4 is 9. So I have exactly enough. I like that. What up? What up? 
Uh, where's my cityscape at? Where is it? Am I blind? Oh, fuck. My cityscape is in the main deck. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have one of the sideboard. Uh, this is awkward. Uh, mm, uh oh. I forgot that I didn't have one in the in the sideboard. Well, shit. Just ring then? Probably, yeah. I kill Karn, but that's fine. Six, eight. I should probably stirrings before casting ring, just in case I find. No, I don't have another worm coil, right? I only have one worm coil, and it's in the graveyard. I don't think Titan does anything. Um, what can that get? That can get Besage you, or that can get Sanctum. I could also just cast Stirrings. Let's just cast Stirrings. Uh, I guess that means we have to survive. So now they're going to put me to six. Then I go to five. This is actually kind of dicey. Oh, right, we have protection. Okay, sure, we're not going to go to six. They kill Karn. Right, okay. Yeah. They should have saved the bolt, right? What was the point of casting that bolt? What? <laughs> Why did they play the bolt there? What the hell? Uh, I'm confused. I don't know why they played the bolt there. I don't have to tap the ring, do I? <clears throat> I don't think I do. So we hit these two, trigger here, get leveler so we can clean up the, uh, I guess we just, yeah, no, we get leveler, I think. And, uh, go? I'm just not going to tap this. Because we win the Ulamog race versus Borrower. They might have had a chance to win the race if they didn't fucking bolt my Karn. I don't know why they did that. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, why not? All right, game two, game two, game two, game two. Never did not have it. All right, now what? Um, these cut, these cut. This is what I've been doing. I don't know if that's right though. Are there other cards that I should be sideboarding out? Maybe. I have no idea. For so much more. I don't know. Search up Sion with Sanctum. Yeah, honestly, so the best curve that this deck has is open on Ley Line, turn one, land, whatever, right? Turn two, Sanctum, Scion, Sack Sanctum, go get second Scion, and then just play another Scion the next turn. Oh, we could put the leveler in the board, actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. Instead of the Ulamog. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we still have this to search for off of uh, Sanctum. That's some big thing. And most of the time, if we have Lane Line, we're just going to be getting Scion anyways, right? Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> well, I can uh, Stirrings for a Scion. I'm going to keep this. I don't know if I should, but I'm keeping it. Uh... My Urza's Tower taps for green mana. No big deal. Coming in. I'll make, I'll make green off of my Urza Saga. Or my Urza's Tower. <laughs> God damn it. This is so dumb. Why, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Yeah, this is the real natural Tron. Yeah, they're, you're going to counter my Scion. I don't care. I'm just going to... I'm going to Scion you every turn of the game. Until morale improves. You're going to need a lot of counter spells. <laughs> Ooh, they didn't even have a counter spell? Oh, 
Maybe they have Baker Poison? No, because they would have killed the Leyline if they had Baker Poison, right? This deck is what we in the business call uh, Malpractice. Borrow run lane line. Yeah, I mean, if they had the bar where they would have main phased it, right? That's why I felt like I can go to combat first. This is just... This is insulting. Oh, no. Subtlety. Do I really need a third Scion? Third Scion is kind of bad if they kill the lane line. I mean, there's no way I need a third one, right? There's just no way I need a third one. It's the content line. Yeah, but I just, I don't know. I just don't need it. It's like, whatever. Yeah, top for content, bottom to win. Why did she pin that message, Max? Did you already unpin it? Why can't I unpin it? Unpin. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Now their channeler. Ha oh no. Oh no 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 no. What is their plan here? I don't know what their plan is. I'm gonna go to combat. Is there a blue red card that makes me sacrifice all of my flying creatures? I sure hope not. I, I guess they don't know about the third the third the third scion. No, they do know about the third scion. They have another subtlety. No. <coughs> red. All right, I'll take three. Yeah, you got me. Minus three. Everybody in chat, take three. This is rude. Ooh, they could have hibernation, yeah. They did put a card on top. All right, they, it does not look like they have hibernation. <laughs> I'm going to block. I'm going I'm to block. Bounce lay line. This is, a, this is a tough way to do it. This is a tough way to do it. So they're going to bounce the ley line and then kill one of my scions and be hellbent? I guess that's their plan. It's not a very good plan. I mean, it's better than dying, I guess, you know. I will give them credit. It is better than dying. They have, like, some way to deal dam one day. Oh, do they have fire ice? Oh, okay, okay. Let them cook. They're still hellbent, but they've killed all my shit. Uh, this. Now we could pivot to the Tron portion of the, of the proceedings. Or not. Uh, I need Forest, though, right? Just in case they have Blood Moon. Alright, go. What did they put on top? Probably an Expressive. Either Expressive or Murktide. I hope it's Murktide. Okay, Counterspell. Um, so we go pop map, get Tron land, play scrying. They might counter the scrying. Sure. I kind of, honestly, I'm kind of surprised they would top a counter spell there. I feel like they need something better than counter spell, like expressive or murktide. Map. Map. Your turn. I don't think it's possible to lose this game from this position. Maybe it is. I guess anything's possible. Yeah. They do have a shop blocker for Murktide, but we have two pick your poisons anyways. Any land that's be cast Ulamog. What if I just cast the Ley Line? What if it's Gigantha time? Wait, they're at 11. Fuck it, let's do this. I think it's time for Juicy J. No, it's it's gotta be Juicy J time. Yeah, it's definitely Juicy J time. Juicy J. And then again, if they play Murktide, we just have two pick your poisons. So we have that covered. Me that you're sorry. <laughs> Alright, fine, I'll cast one. Fine, I'll cast one. 
I'm, I'm casting one because chat wants me to. Here it's six. Five. All right, I cast Leyline. <laughs> you want to counter it? Uh, I cast O Stone. You want from me? I'm still not killing the borrower though. I, I'll just take three damage. It's fine. My Gigantha is all five colors now. Although it removed my uh, my full artness of it. Thirteen life. Oh fuck! Wait, 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 we can talk about this. It doesn't have to be this way. So their hand is Ragavan, two unknowns. I mean. Go. We have the hard lock, right? Which is just O-Stone, Ulmog. Like, whatever they play, we just pop and then attack. I think this is the hard lock. <clears throat> yeah, my Ulamog is all Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger is all colors. I cast Ragavan. I cast Dragon's Rage Channeler. What else you got? You got a Merc Tide too? They have a dress down that could be bad. Well, they're only holding up one mana, it looks like. <clears throat> That's true though. If they hold up two, then I could try to play around that. Looks like they're not doing that, though. Yeah, they have one card in hand. All that you want from me. I am broken. Oh, fail you constantly. See ya. See ya. Easy. <laughs> How are we four and one with this fucking deck? This should not be happening. I'm like, I'm actually mad that we're that this is happening. This is bullshit. I hate it. I hate it here, chat. Why why are we doing this to ourselves? I don't why why have I why did I just decide to wake up and choose violence, you know? I don't really know. I really don't know. Definitely not this hand. I think I'll keep. I think I'll keep. A third chili can be replaced with Glistening Deluge. I don't know. Four is kind of a lot, right? Four is kind of a lot. I, I really hope they're playing Burn. Please, please, please be playing Burn. One time be playing Burn. Post that hand on Twitter. <laughs> the perfect hand doesn't exist. Uh, the perfect hand doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. <laughs> it's a good hand. It's a, it's a good hand. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I mulliganed, alright? I'm just saying. I mulliganed. Still have to put one back. Sure do. Sure do have to put one back. What could replace Star with this to make this hand more disgusting? Uh, probably the third Scion. You want subtlety me? I'm going to put it on top if you subtlety me. Exclamation point RCQ. Quit swinging. <laughs> yeah, this is like ultimate natural. Natural Tron times two. <laughs> Uh, how mad are they right now? They're going to be a lot more mad next turn when I play the, the other Scion. What's funny is if they subtlety the first one, I could have just went tower and played two Scions next turn. Like, it doesn't even matter. They, <laughs> like, who cares, you know? I'm just kind of, this is so stupid. Do I hope the Scion to go Scrying for Sanctum? Um, we'll see what we draw, see what they do. Maybe. Yeah, because I could go... Tap two mana, scrying, get Sanctum, play tower, pick up Jeff. Next turn, three, six, eight. I, I guess I wouldn't have enough mana to go Scion, Scion, Jeff. It'd be close, though. 
This is mostly distinctions. It's an idea that I've had for a while, but I never kind of put it on paper, and distinction finally did. So shout out to distinction for, because I'm just lazy. Hello there. <clears throat> Two mana. You got Besaju. Besaju would be kind of annoying. Also that. Okay, they can win, maybe. Eh, just kidding. Show me force. I mean, I don't want you to show me force, but... Is this never end? Rude. Just pick up Jeff. Jeffrey. All right, your turn. You may proceed. Miss you, miss you. Tamplan's nice. No rhinos. I like that. What they pitch? Pitched force. Okay. To be just Jeffrey. I could put cataracts. Well, I wonder. Do I have enough mana to go? Star sack. Scrying cataracts still cast Jeff. I'm one short, right? So this star one floating make green. This scrying two floating play cataracts four mana. Yeah, I'm one short, so I can't quite do that. Like I guess the question is how important is playing Jeff this turn versus just like cataracts pass, and then we can Jeff Sion next turn. Oh, I, I haven't... No, I don't have enough mana to cast the Leyline. There's no way they have main deck Blood Moon, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess either way, I should just start here. And see if we drop the star. Yeah. <clears throat> Does that change things? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Not really. Actually, hold on. No, because if I play Forest, then I'm not playing a Tower. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it might just be Shrine and Cataracts. I think you're right. We could chill for a little bit. They don't have pressure right now, so, like... I think I like this line. Because then we just get to cast the Leyland next turn. Like, if they tap out for Rhinos, who cares? They're just gonna just gonna get dunked on by Scion, right? Yeah, we can, we can Leyland plus Scion next turn, which is good. You want to try Primeval Titan in this shell, but that's probably miserably bad. What if we played, like, Tron Valakid? No. Is that too far? Is that is that a bridge too far? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> sure, I guess. Why not? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, three, six, seven, eight, ten. Uh, five for cataracts, that's ten mana. I can just do it all, right? I can literally do everything that I want to and get, um, yeah, I can just do everything. So we go make five. Just make five green. Cast ley line. Attack. <laughs> your turn. Your turn. You can go. Yeah, your turn. <clears throat> this is stupid. This should not be working. Like, I'm just... I don't... I just... I'm at a loss for words at this point, you know? I'm at, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to do anymore. I really don't know what to do. It won't work for anybody else, don't worry. Yeah, I know. Ah, god damn it. I hate this. I hate that this is where we're at, you know? <clears throat> so they did show us uh, Lush Portico, which means they're probably on the Scion plan. So I should bring in Pick Your Poison. Um, Just do what we've been doing before, right? Cut the leveler. Do these three. Call it a day. Although maybe it's more important to have the spheres because they could have Blood Moon. Just like being able to sphere for green to pick your poison Blood Moon. 
What else would be cut, though? I think everything else is too good, right? Maybe one Sanctum. Sanctum Scion plan gets awkward if they, like... Okay, so imagine a world where we both start on Leyline. They have Binding and I don't, right? So they can go, like, land Binding my Leyline. And then if I have Sanctum, it does nothing because I can't chain Scions if they kill my Leyline. Cut Ulamogs. Ulamog is really good against Binding. I don't want to cut Ulamogs. Maybe the second one's unnecessary. Do you like one sphere? It's probably okay. <clears throat> I did win an RCQ, yeah. The uh, the FNM RCQ last night. With the, the blue black profs deck. That deck is busted. It's so good. That profs deck is unreal good. Trimming Karn and bring in some of the targets. Just because it's a little bit worse against Force. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I see what you're saying. And those cards you kind of just want in your opening hand, because they're they're not as good if you have to wait for Karn for them, especially on the draw. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I could buy that argument. Because, like, on average, if you even if you have turn three Tron Karn and they don't have force, like, you can't stone brain them the turn you play it, right? Because you only have three mana left over. And they're on the play anyways, so... Um, I don't know. The reason I like Cataracts better, right? So think about it this way. If you if you replace Cataracts with Yavimaya, you would, let's say you have three Tron lands and a Yavimaya, right? <clears throat> you would have to tap all four of your lands to play the Leyline, as opposed to, say you have three Tron lands and a Cataracts. You tap five mana, which is Tower Mine, use the Cataracts, make five, Use four of that to play the lane line. You still have the other Tron land left over to play the Scion that turn. So I think with Scion specifically, Cataracts is probably better. And it's better with Golos in the sideboard. Um, This is a weird one. Keep, I think. But it's... Oh, man, I don't know. What I like about this hand is if they have Binding for my lane line, I can pick your poison their Binding. I think it's a keep. Yeah, I think it's a keep. Okay, but they don't have binding. Or they don't have they don't have lane line at least. Easiest game of my life. You've been to subtlety. They have an ice for me? Ice would kind of suck. Or Petty Theft. Petty Theft would be bad, too. Yeah. Okay. It's unfortunate. <sighs> I mean, there's zero chance they're casting Blood Moon next turn, right? I, don't, I was thinking about scrying for a basic, but there's no way they're casting Blood Moon. I'm just going to get a Tron land. Zero chance they're casting Blood Moon. I mean, if they play Blood Moon, they wanted it more, you know? Also, they're going to be cut off of two colors, so it's probably not that bad. We would be okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Nick. Uh, which one looks cooler? I think the mine. I mean, if we draw land four, Blood Moon is fine, because we have Ring. Rhinos is a little scary, but their deck doesn't do anything else, so it's obvious they have Rhinos. Four cards in hand, huh? Do we have any line besides Scrying Tron Land Sphere? I don't think so. I don't see another way out. I'll guess someone's crying. Acid Junkie converting from a prime to a tier one sub. Thank you for looking at Fletcher's Johnson along with all of us. Surely they don't have force negation in their hand, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we lead with, right? I guess Ring is probably better. 
I can also pop Sphere first. I don't know if that changes anything, but... Oh. Well, now it does. <laughs> that does change things, as a matter of fact. Ooh. They just let it resolve? So they just don't have Force? Or they have Binding? Do I even cast the Karn? It's just going to die. Like, they can't do anything this turn. I can't die. Karn for Sundering. I don't hate that. I fuck with it. Yeah, I like that. We know they don't have Force, so... Stirring's Companion. No, I mean, I think knowing they don't have Force this turn, it's a good turn to Karn, because they could draw Force next turn. So, like, but this is guaranteed to resolve, you know? I guess they could have Subtlety. Subtlety would be annoying. Then, well, see, the thing is, then I just top it, right? And then just draw it next turn. And we can run it back next turn. They bring in Dispute. Uh, maybe. They might have, yeah. We do, yeah. We do have to be a little bit careful. We can, like, deploy a new ring next turn, right? Like, we can't Sundering Titan next turn anyways. We can't, if they subtlety this, rather. We can't, we can't Karn Titan next turn. We only have uh, 11 mana. Looks like they do have subtlety. That makes sense. I am topping it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it makes sense that they have subtlety, because they didn't have force, so. Yeah, they've kind of been off stomp recently, though. At least I think they have been. Oh. oh okay, they're just meme attacking, sure. <laughs> I was like, do they really have stomp? Okay, so we do this first. And then go from there. Stirrings first. Try and find O-Stone. You buckle at your knees. I like that. Stone, 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 stone. Any stones? Do, 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 do. Any stoners? Any stones? I would like a stone, please. I mean, it just... I don't... What do you want from me? So, we deploy tower and stone... If they have Mystical Dispute, we can pay and play a second ring. Oh, they have Tidebinder. Shit, I didn't think about that. I guess I was dead to Tidebinder anyways, right? If I played ring, they just stifle the protection. Did I have a line that beat Tidebinder? I don't think I did. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I should do, like Star, Sack, Pick Your Poison or something. Oh, I'm going to make him have it. I'm just thinking if I should star here. I don't know what I could draw, but I'll star. All right, uh, your turn. <coughs> they will simply just not have it. Maybe they'll cast Borrower for no reason. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if they cast Borrower. Hmm, I'm going to sacrifice my O-Stone. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> okay, well, good beats. We're in the game, chat. We're in the game. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. We're in the game, folks. We are in the game. Yeah, they did not... They did, in fact, not have it. Go to seven... Still have to be a little bit careful. Example, if I Karn, uh, if I Karn Sundering Titan, I just lose if they have Subtlety. So I guess we draw first. Oh, we also did not draw a land. Uh, which means... Well, this is plus one, right? Three, six, seven, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... Oh, no, if I, right, if I Karn Titan, I die. 
because I blow up their lands, they attack, I block one, go to three, then I die to the ring. So that doesn't work. I think I deploy second ring? Yeah, I like this. And now, we probably don't even have to tap this, right? We can just go... Scrying for cataracts. Yeah, I like, I like this line a lot. Oh, I didn't mean to tap that. It's fine. It's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. I did not mean to tap that, but it's okay. All right, go. I guess they could have stomp, but... They don't have stomp. They're dead. Yeah, maybe not dead dead. Did not mean to tap that, though. Mm, it's medium annoying, but I don't really care that much. But they pitch. They pitched footfalls. Okay. Not going to tap it again. So we go three. Well, hold on. Let me just think about this. So three, five, cataracts. Three, four, five, cataracts. One floating. One, two, three, four, seven mana. Seven mana is enough to go Scion, Karn, Explosives. Tap in the ring is going to kill us. You think so? Actually, it might, yeah. We still have three cards in hand, too. <clears throat> I could Karn for another ring. Just to be super safe. I mean, I, have, I got plenty of Karns, right? I can afford to spew Karns here. Three, six, seven, eight. Also, if they counter this, I can maybe O Stone. This is like a really tricky spot, actually. Them having the force for the lane line was kind of brutal. I didn't think about force of vigor. Okay, I let it resolve. After much deliberation. No, because I think we have to play another ring. How about this? I figured it out. Let's minus. I think I figured it out. Then I guess we still lose the Tidebinder. God damn it. I was going to go O-Stone first. If they don't counter it, just pop the O-Stone. But then I lose the Tidebinder. I mean, I'm losing the Tidebinder either way, right? I'm just not beating that card. But if they force the O-Stone, then I can just play the other ring. Scion block would be better. Well, that's worse if they just have another Force of Vigor. I guess they only have one green. Yeah, I think I've I think I've come to the conclusion that I cannot beat Tidebinder. So I'm just gonna cast this. Can I do Leyline Scion? I could have. But I chose to take a different line. There's like there's so many things that I have to play around, but there's very few that I can play around, you know? That's the problem. The nice thing about this line too is I kind of want to pop the O Stone before I play Leyline Scion. Because if I Leyline Scion, and then I'm in a spot where I have to pop the O-Stone, then it's kind of bad for me, right? I'm going to do this. And then O-Stone on their upkeep. Now that they've let it resolve. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We have not played a land. I could have ringed, but I don't know. Karn plus on ring. Instead of getting the other ring. Well, I wanted to get this ring. I, maybe what I should have done was play the O-Stone first. Before using the Karn. And then if they let the O-Stone resolve, then I can plus. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Uh, they're out of footfalls, for whatever that's worth. I think I'm not going to tap the ring. You're right. I think accidentally tapping this ring might fuck us. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, do I have enough mana to Karn, Explosives, Pop, Scion, or Leyline Scion? How much mana is all that? 4, 8, 12, 3, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. I have 14 mana, which I do have enough mana. So why don't we do that? Let's play Karn. I think we need to ring here. Nah, we're fine. I don't think it's possible for them to be, be able to answer the Karn and the Leyline Scion. 
all in one go. So I think this should work. Should work. Pop this now so they can't tide binder. This should work. Maybe I have enough to uh, scrying if I want to, which I guess I will, right? Go. Enlightened Master, thank you so much for the three a month reset. Welcome back, Enlightened Master. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate that. Thank you for the sub. They shocked. What the fuck? So they have two three mana spells. What is that? Just like borrower plus whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. I would like to try to attack you, please. Once I gain this four life, I feel unstoppable. If I can gain the four life this turn, plus on ring, I I'm gonna play safe. I want to minus first. Or I want to attack first. I see. Okay. They have one card left. They probably should have done that before I went to combat, right? I have a ballista on the sideboard. I don't think I do. Yeah, I did not put a ballista on the sideboard. How do we lose this game? I guess that's the question. I'm actually not sure we can, right? Like, I'm just going to cast this. Okay. Now I think we probably can't lose. In a car underwater with time to kill. Uh, did we just get Sundering Titan? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Could have drawn. Just worse if they have Force, right? I don't need to. What am I looking for? I have I have everything I need to win the game. We have a Swamp. Yeah, I'm going to pop the Besaju. So this probably gets Subtletied, I think. But that's totally fine. I do not care. They have no cards in hand. They just can't win. Sanctum. Oh, I could have played the Sanctum first. Yeah. This is not your fault. Oh, no. We don't have a Swamp. They... <laughs> I forgot. They bounced the Ley Line. Right. We don't have a Swamp. Uh, one, two, three, four. Done. One, two... Uh, make you sack a flyer. I mean, none of this matters at this point, right? Go. None of this matters. I don't know. I I feel like I maybe could have played that game a little bit differently, but I don't hate the way I played it. Underwater with time to kill. We're five and one, Chad. <laughs> we are five and one with this fucking deck. What is happening? Why why is this happening? I'm so mad. Like this is this is like actually pissing me off that we're five and one with this deck. I just I just I just don't I just can't, you know? I don't have words. I really don't have words. I don't have words, chat. I just I don't know what to tell you. I keep I mean, if they have binding by hand, I lose, but, you know. I kind of hope he's playing Murktide and not Zoo. Okay, that could be either. Steam Vents. Yes! Okay. Because Murktide likely... Ooh. I guess it's not likely. They might have Borrower. You can have Borrower. <laughs> Counterspell on Scion. Well, you, th you see, I have three Scions in my hand. <laughs> so if they have Counterspell on Scion, like, that's fine. Whatever. <clears throat> it's nice when you just have three Scions. They could have Subtlety. They only have two cards in hand, though. If they don't have subtlety, they're kind of fucking dead. Mm 
Better have subtlety. You better have subtlety. I am sacking. Because if he has subtlety, I can just bottom this one and then do it again next turn. Okay, well. Easy. <laughs> I haven't decided yet, Dustin. I was thinking about staying with Spike. If Spike wants to, like, try to LCQ. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm going to book my flight this weekend, though. Somebody said that they there was uh, they were having a sale on Southwest. Make a five five Merc Tide, but I have a second Scion, so it's like who cares? It's gonna be a little bit before we get through this thing. Well, do I even want a third Scion? I kind of want to just deploy Tower, right? What is the third Scion even doing for me though? Like, what is it accomplishing? I still can't attack into their 5-5. Five five. And I'd much rather just try to Hyrule Tron next turn. I just don't really think the third Scion does that much. If he has Subtlety, then I'll just top this and then do it again next turn. You know? Like, if he Subtlety's this, then next turn I could just go Sanctum, play this, sack it. And it's the same thing, right? We're just going to be staring at each other for a while. Just, I, what do you want from me, man? I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I just, I just don't know what to tell you. I really, really don't know what to tell you. True. They want me in top eight. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I've been blessed. You know, Magic Online really wants me to top eight this tournament. This is, this is what we call the God Seed. They put a card on top, which is a little scary. I don't know what they're topping here. Imagine I draw a tower here. The thing is, I don't even need to draw a tower. Like, it's just inevitable. They can't ever attack, and I'm eventually just going to draw lands, right? I don't need tower. Like, what's their out this game? They put another card on top. I don't really know what their out is. Second Merktide, I guess. So they counter card, untap, play second Merc Tide. They did put a card on top. I might bes Ooh. What if I besage you their Steam Vents now? Thoughts? Because if they want... If they put, if they have a Merc Tide on top, they might not... Oh, well, you know what I mean. I kind of like it. If they do attack with Darcy first. No, because if they topped a Merc Tide, they're just going to draw Merc Tide and not attack with Darcy. Right? I'm going to do this. <clears throat> they have to attack. No, they can Merc Tide pre-combat. They don't have to attack. The reason I'm besaging this is because if they shuffle away the Merc Tide, then I can resolve Karn. Right? Should I make him use the fetch land? Option one is tap this, play Karn, play around Pierce. Option two is burn mana, make him fetch. I think making him fetch is pretty good. Okay, this gets countered. Yeah, and I guess we just have to hope they don't find another Murktide. We could be in trouble if they find a Murktide. That's, that's their out, right? Counter this, untap, find Murktide, make a make this big. I can't double block. But then I guess we just rip a Tron land at Ulamog it. Do they bin two? Yeah, just any Tron land is good enough. Yeah, that's bad. That's probably worst case scenario. But now I guess we just eat the channelers, right? Take five. I could have double blocked, but double block is worse against heat. <clears throat> okay, well, nothing mattered anyways. <laughs> nothing mattered anyways. <laughs> okay. Sick.
Nothing ever mattered. Nothing I did that game mattered at all. <laughs> oh my god. This is offensive. This is actually offensive. They really do. They really do. Yeah, this is the god seed. This is like this is like w, double tribulate on Bellatro. This is that seed. What are we calling this monstrosity of a deck? Uh, toxic. Extremely toxic. What did we cut against Murktide last time? I forgot. We cut the leveler, right? Because we wanted the Karn for the leveler against Murktide. I think that's what we did, and I think that makes sense. If we're keeping score... What is happening? I, I don't know how to answer that question. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Scion, Scion soloed that game, basically. I know we never attacked with it or blocked with it, but it basically soloed that game. You know, it's good. I could do better. Liar, if we're keeping score. Okay, this hand's good. Do I put back green card or second map? <clears throat> I think second map, right? Because I don't want to... Uh, I guess second map gets me a forest. It's kind of close. And also, if it's a green card, which green card do I put back? Probably pick your poison. Yeah, sh I don't know. I don't know how frequently these decks are on Shredder these days. I'm going to keep both maps. I'm going to put back pick your poison. I mean, I guess that it's a little worse if they have Blood Moon, because then I don't have the Pick Your Poison for Blood Moon. I should have put back Stirrings, clearly. A mine? Uh-oh. I wanted that. Oh, they're trying to hit Pick Your Poison. They hit Channeler. Thank God they didn't hit Pick Your Poison. Uh, main phase to play around Tidebinder. Since I have Star for Green anyways. It is. <laughs> it sure is, Jace Meister. I hate it here, alright? That's bad. Holy shit, that's bad. Well, I guess we die. Thanks, Monkey. Shout out to Ragavan, by the way. What an asshole. <laughs> alright. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I'll cast some cards that don't do anything. Your turn. Should have opened Leyline? I know. Classic Karn. Just just classic Ragavan, you know. I would have I would have rather have them cast a Blood Moon than a Karn, I think. It's like the only card they could have hit that I cared about. Every other card, even if it's even if it was Ring, I don't think I care about Ring as much as I care about Karn. Because we just can't remove this from the battlefield. <clears throat> Two, three, six, eight. We don't have any outs. All right, game three. No outs. No outs, no outs. All right, how about this game? Ragavan does not hit exactly Karn the Great Creator. How about that? Is that is that cool? Can we uh, can we do that, maybe? Maybe can we do that? Please and thank you. Ragavan, be on my team this time. <clears throat> we'll carry on. Don't hit Karn off Ragavan. The 
wrong Tron lands. Is this game close? Not really, right? No, not really. So this would be the six, hypothetically. This one's close. They mold the six as well. This one's really close. I kind of want to keep. I'm going to keep. Mm -mm. Especially post board, if they're like aggressively mulliganing to Blood Moon. I like that I have Besageum in hand and I have Ring slash Karn. So, like, the sand doesn't really care that much about Blood Moon to an extent, which I do like about it. I'm going to try to bait a spell pierce with star. Okay, did not fall for the bait. Did they hold the pierce? The patience. The patience. Good play, good play. It's okay, we're going to draw mine. I will simply just draw mine. Bottom, bottom, no land. It's kind of like mine. This forever time. Is it better to star or pick up Jeff? Jeff, I think. Although star gets us closer to ring next turn. My star, actually. Bazinga. Too easy, folks. Easiest game of my fucking life. What does Jeff ever do? Attacks for five, man. <laughs> Easy game for children, yeah. Good thing I had to pick up Gigantha, by the way. Okay, not the best draw. Not the best. Uh, what are we... Okay, how... I guess the question is, how do we lose this game? Slash, like, what if they have Force Negation? Like, which threat do I lead with? Probably Ring, right? Coding the red source. Well, the problem with that, Jose, is if I go Karn, downtick, upkeep, coding red source, if they have bolt in hand, my Karn just did nothing. I don't I don't like that line. Chalice on one is interesting. And then if they force the Karn, we slam ring. Sure, okay. I don't hate that. Bolt post side, you never know. There's my chalice, there's my chalice. One, two, done. Uh, to behold Beseju. It's my only copy of Beseju. <clears throat> I think holding is okay. I don't. I don't think we need to play it. <clears throat> Yo, last goodbye. Mm -mm 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 Does Jeff cast late line? Yes, I think right. Yeah, Jeff should cast lane line. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I mean, their hand is six spells, which probably, mo at least a couple of them are probably turned off by Chalice. Yeah, not great. Uh, we could... We could Titan, but Titan's not great against Counterspell. Yeah, best draw on the deck. <clears throat> What if I just cast Gigantha? Some sort of double spell turn? What if I just Gigantha? Like, how bad is that? What do they do? Counter my Gigantha? I'll just uptick my Karn. Stonebrain, turn off Merc. Stonebrain for Merc Tad's not bad. Just to, like, cut them off threats. No, I don't want to get Golos. Golos is worse if they have counter spell. I think Stonebrain is probably my best double spell turn. Honestly, if they let this go, I could name Counterspell. <laughs> no, I like Stonebrain more than Coding, I think. Ding, 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 ding. Like, they just have no threats. If I Stonebrain their Murktides, their Murktides are off, their Ragavans are off, and their Channelers are off. Like, how do they, you know what I mean? Where do they go from here? Alright, I'll activate it. 
They could Tidebender me, I guess. They're doing something to this. Are they bouncing Chalice now? But then if they bounce Chalice, I can just name Murktide and then replay the Chalice? I think. Because <clears throat> now I can just replay the Chalice. Yeah, we're going to see the hand too. I'm, g I'm still going to name Murktide, I think. His name spell Pierce Jam Ring Reel. No, because I'm, if I name Murktide and they have Pierce in hand, I can just go land Chalice. Right. And then ring next turn. I just don't care about the Pierce. Okay, their hand is <laughs> a null. That was their plan. Okay. Uh, they're down to two Murktides. Interesting. A null counterspell channeler iteration breach. Let me just screenshot this so I remember. Two Blood Moon, two Cast Into Fire, two Bolts, two Heats, three Ragabands, two Subtleties, one Pierce. Okay, sure. Uh, noted. So their hand is these five cards, huh? So what's their plan? I play Chalice, they Annul. Untap, Channeler, Hold Up, Counterspell for Ring. Which actually is kind of awkward, huh? What if I didn't play a spell? Yeah, just like Tower, play Besaidu, pass. I think I like not playing a spell here, because if they deploy the Channeler, they can't hold up two counter spells, right? Yeah. Chalice, they counter Ring. I only had four mana. So if I Chalice on one, and they counter, I can't Ring. I have two mana left over. <clears throat> yeah, we have the Chalice for one. Okay, they drew a land, which makes this line a little bit worse. 3, 6, 10, 11 mana. Is there any world they counter Gigantha? Because I have enough to play Gigantha, Ring, and Chalice. Chalice on 2. No, they just annul the Chalice on 2. I'm going to cast Gigantha first. I want to see if they counter this. I don't think they will, but they might... I feel like they have to let this go. Jeff casts Ley Lines. Yeah, that's the plan. Jeff unlocks the Ley Lines, which unlocks the Scions, etc, etc, etc. They are going to fetch. Which leads me to believe they're countering this. Which I think is good for me. Because they have to counter the Chalice, right? Like, there's no world they let the Chalice resolve. If they let the Chalice resolve, then I just don't play the, the ring. Okay. We have successfully figured this out. We did the thing. So the last two cards are Breach Iteration. I put a card on top. Is there any reason to not use the ring this turn and just uptick on it? No, right? Because in that case, they just go combat, kill Karn, then post-combat breach. So I'd rather just have the card. Ragavan? Yeah, it's like whatever though, right? I wonder what they topped. Two for to go on the top. <laughs> okay, so their hand is breach iteration. <clears throat> Why are they casting the expressive? I'm confused. Why are they casting the expressive? That seems weird, right? What are they trying to hit? Just a land? I guess. Yeah, I guess they're trying to find a land. Well, we saw their deck. They don't have they don't have a way to win with breach, right? They don't have fastest oracle. So, like, Breach is just value. There's no win condition off Breach. You know. Oh, but he not cast it? He just want, like... He's not necessarily looking for lands, right? He just wants action? I, I would think so. I don't know. I could be wrong. Like, I don't think you actively want a land off of that. I think you just want counter spells. And, like, you're kind of forced to take a land off of this and not, instead of, you know, hitting a spell plus a counterspell off of it. You know what I mean? 
Just casting 12 mana Scion. All right, trigger this. Yeah, just get a Lamog. Your turn. 12 mana Scion, by the way. <laughs> 12 mana Scion, by the way. Yeah, who needs a cost reduction? I'm just, I, we're, we're just playing Honest Magic over here. It's fine. Yeah, someone clipped that. That's 12 mana Scion. Still triggering, still triggering uh, Sanctum of Ugin. <clears throat> okay. How concerning is this? He has cast into fire for Scion. But it's just like going to be a bunch of... Like, you're just going to cantrip a bunch and just lose to the Ulamog, right? I don't think this matters that much. I guess he can, like, dig pretty hard for a counterspell off Bobble and just not cast Cast into the Fire. <clears throat> Could Surveil Moon. Uh, sure, that's a good point, yeah. That would be kind of unfortunate. I didn't think about that. So he actually gets a pretty good amount of looks at Moon. If he finds Moon, we're in trouble. Because we don't have a lot left over. Bin Subtlety. I guess Subtlety the Ulamog's not that good. He just wants to dig for Moon. They have a land drop? Uh, I believe so, yes. I'm pretty sure. One green Urborg. That's what the Cataracts is for. But the Cataracts works better with Tron lands. <laughs> instead of tapping four Tron lands with your uh, green Urborg, you only have to tap two if you have, ta if you have Tron active. So it's a little bit better if you have Tron. Fuck. That's bad. Cyan wins the race against the moon. I guess that's true. If he moons, he can't cast into fire, so it's a little awkward. It is, yeah, it's worse if you don't, for sure. Right, I forgot if they're mooning, they can't cast the, the cast into the fire. They only, they get to play one of those. I mean, they have to moon, right? Because they know we have a Lamog. Yeah, pick your poison. Would be insane here. I got three of those. Slam left first strike and trample. Uh, no, because I can't cast the leyline, right? Yeah, I can't cast leyline. Mm, I only have two. I I can use a red and a green, but I still need two more green. One green source off. No, we're two. This this is no longer a green source. Would love to drop Pick Your Poison. Okay, so they have six cards in hand. That does not quite do it. Um, do we attack? Probably, right? I think we have to attack. I don't really like our position here, to be honest with you. I thought we couldn't lose this game, but them hitting Blood Moon was pretty lucky. Tough beats. No, they have two heats in their deck. We saw their deck while somebody Stonebrain them. Maybe I Stonebrain the wrong card. Maybe I shouldn't have Stonebrain Murktide. It seemed like it was fine at the time, but I also think it. They also I didn't expect them to cut any Murktides. I'm kind of surprised they cut some. The brain turn kind of lost, kind of cost me. Sort of. It just, like, seemed at the time that it was fine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ragavan is not kind to me. Uh... Fuck, man. <laughs> the last game it hit Karn in the perfect spot. This game it hits Pick Your Poison also in the perfect spot. I guess Magic Online wanted Twin to win a little bit more than they wanted me to win, huh? It is what it is. It is what it is. 17. Uh, go. We had a good run, though. We had a good run. That's how you win with Murktide. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, you need a lot of luck to win with the 40, the 45% deck, so, you know.
draw a stone next turn. You think they don't have a counterspell? <laughs> they probably have a counterspell. Forty-five is being generous. Probably, yeah, probably. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, all right. Good beats. All right, folks. Uh, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate each. I got to pay out the gamba. Gamba, 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 gamba. All right, L underscore. We tried. We had a good run. We tried our best. Did I make it? Uh... <laughs>